What's up YouTube? In this video I'm going to show you easy way to calculate how much further back your boat's longitudinal center of gravity point is going to change when making import to output conversion, like in this project. So in output conversion you are removing weight from here and adding weight back there. So in most cases it's going to change your boat sitting angle and you must compensate that with floating bracket. This is not even near 100% accurate calculation method. More like an easy way to make an estimate what direction the COG is going to change and how much. When I start to calculate my longitudinal COG, I share the boat into few pieces and I use the bow as a zero point. I choose the pieces so that I can estimate the weight for them as accurately as possible. First piece is the cabin part of the boat, second one is the cockpit and third is the engine room. Then I measure the distance from the zero point for all these pieces. So this hull is 8.5 meters long and its dry weight is 1250 kilograms. Now I divide this total weight and share it for these pieces I have selected by estimating their weight. The bow piece is long, but this boat has empty cabin so it doesn't weigh much. I estimate that it's 450 kilos. Second piece is much shorter, but it contains electrical parts, seats, fuel tank and the hull is already at its full width, so I estimate that's also 450 kilos. For the rear piece I'm left with 350 kilograms, and that sounds correct because the transom, engine bed and the stringers are very heavy. Now I have divided the hull's drive weight into three pieces, then I add the engine and the drive's weight into that rear piece. And I also add 40 cm length because of the drive. And now I estimate where is the center of gravity points for each of these pieces, compared to the zero point. The boat's bow is narrow, so the first piece's center of gravity point is little bit towards the back of the boat. Middle piece is quite neutral with the weight distribution, so its weight point is in the middle. Aft piece's COG is also towards the back, because the engine and the drive's weight are near the transom. Now I can start calculating. So I multiply the length of these estimated COG points with the weight of individual piece. Then I sum these results together and divide it by the multiplied length and weight of the whole boat. Which is boat's drive weight plus engine weight multiplied by the whole length. Then this result is multiplied by the length of the boat, and we have our longitudinal center of gravity point. 6.3 meters from the bow of the boat. Now I remove the old inboard engine's weight and add the weight of my bracket and outboard engine into that aft piece. I also extend the aft piece to 9.5 meters because of the OP engine and the bracket. The Yamaha F350 engine weighs 360 kilograms, and I estimate that the bracket will be 70 kilograms. So now the aft piece weight is 780 kilos, and the new estimated COG point is at 8.6 meters. Then the same calculation with these new values. And we get the new COG point, with the outboard engine. And it's 6.4 meters from the zero point. So the change is just about 10 centimeters. As I mentioned before, this is not accurate way to calculate your boat's real COG point. But it's pretty accurate to calculate how big is the change, example when you are changing engine, like in this case. If your COG change is big, then you can estimate how much your original waterline is going to change. Then draw the bracket behind your boat and calculate the bracket's underwater volume, because that volume is adding flotation. In this project the change was so little that I don't actually need flotation of my bracket. So I'm going to design the bracket so that it's just good looking and I just take the volume that I'm left with. Hopefully this was interesting video. Thanks for watching and see you in next one.